All right, let's go to the next section, the protein synthesis. When we look at what protein does, we can see protein is what does the work in the body. That can be contracting a muscle, as in actin and myosin. Those are proteins. Uh, proteins, hemoglobin is a protein. It carries oxygen through the body. Antibodies are also proteins that fight colds. Now, how does that whole thing work? Let's uh, look at it right here on the screen first. Number one, what we have to do is we have to unwind the DNA double helix at the place where we have a specific needs to be made into a protein or that needs to be accessed as a cookbook to be read and then a protein needs to be created from that. We then copy that gene from a DNA to an RNA molecular strand. That strand, that RNA strand, will then exit the nucleus and feed into a ribosome. And there, a different RNA molecule reads the codons, as we described them before, on the RNA. Again, the codons are three base pairs that will, three bases that will then code for one amino acid. And that appropriate amino acid will be then put into the sequence and one will be put after the other. Let's look at the picture of that. We can see that up here we see a, a shot, an artist shot, of how the DNA double helix gets uncoiled here and then we make a copy of that section here and that's the section the RNA, the copy, that goes outside the nucleus, feeds into the ribosome and these beads are the amino acids that are put one after the other. And the primary structure of a protein, as we said before, is an amino acid polypeptide chain. We have it also a little bit more uh, graphic. We can see here the DNA strand is in red, and we have this RNA polymerase, it is called, that unzips that DNA strand, makes two single strands, and then you see the blue piece here is the RNA that gets copied, the type of RNA that then exits the nucleus and feeds here into a ribosome, which is kind of green. And these weird wiggly structures here on one side read a codon. On the other side, they bring an amino acid in, uh, and then it will be attached, well, it comes from the right to the left, and it will be attached to the next one via this polypeptide bond, or a peptide bond, sorry, it's a polypeptide chain. Um, the process of copying the RNA, or to copying the DNA, making RNA, is known as transcription, and then once the RNA strand, the mRNA we call it, as this is, we'll learn that in a minute, it's a messenger RNA, and, and when that feeds into the ribosome and makes the protein, that process is called translation, as in we translate now from the codon to the amino acid chain. When we look at the RNA, we have our RNA versus DNA, but we haven't talked about that too much in terms of their differences. Well, the, the difference is the DNA is usually a double-stranded situation, and the RNA is just a single strand, it's a one strand. And the other difference is that there's different sugars that are uh, used in the DNA and the RNA. It's a deoxyribose versus a ribose alone. That's where the R versus the D comes from. And then in the RNA molecule, we use an uracil as the nucleotide instead of thymine. We have three types of RNA. We have messenger RNA. We call that mRNA, and that's the copy of the DNA strand. It's kind of what we consider the RNA, but that's really mRNA. Then we have a second type, that's ribosomal RNA, or rRNA, and that's part of the ribosome itself that makes the protein, and this is the piece that is made in the nucleolus, inside the nucleus. Because before we can make protein, somebody's got to make that original protein or that, or that RNA, that, 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 that ribosome that then can make that protein. So as far as we're concerned, our RNA is a part of a ribosome. 
And then the last RNA we have is the transfer RNA or tRNA. And that's the one that reads the codon on one side from the mRNA strand. And on the other end, it picks up amino acids and attaches it to the next one in sequence via a peptide bond. That's pretty cool. So let's keep a little more, let's do this again here. I, work, I already used that word transcription. And so transcription is when the DNA uncoils, or the, uh, the DNA double helix gets uncoiled, and an RNA polymerase, it's called, which is an enzyme because it ends in an ASE, that synthesizes then mRNA from free elements in the nucleus. Then that mRNA leaves the nucleus through nuclear pores, and inside the cytoplasm, we have the translation component of the protein pr uh, uh, production, and that is when the mRNA strands feeds through the ribosome, the tRNA reads the codons on the mRNA, brings the corresponding amino acids to that sequence, to the, to the ribosome, and then with AP, ATP and an enzyme, it will attach it to the amino acids, the, the chain that's already been created via a peptide bond. So that's pretty neat. So let's leave it at that for this video and do one more which will be uh, done on mitosis which is cell division.